Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. Interesting story. Uh, was on headlines a couple of days ago, but I didn't get a chance to talk about it. I've been out of state for the past couple of days, but we're here now. Hey, man, I want you guys to check out this story um, of Oklahoma. They're, imp they're implementing the Bible having to be taught uh, in different classrooms, a, a Bible being in every classroom and having to be taught, or you may lose your license. Interesting turn of events, right? <laughs> Interesting turn of events. Well, I want you guys to check this out. Now to Oklahoma, where teachers are now being mandated to incorporate the Bible into some lessons. It comes a week after Louisiana required the Ten Commandments to be displayed in every public school classroom. So Louisiana requires the Ten Commandments to be displayed in every public school class. What? What a turn of events! You know what's going on? There's so much darkness being, there's so much darkness evolving in different places that people are starting to be absorbed by the light and see the light. I believe more than ever before. That's where darkness runs dumb, right? In other words, the enemy will try to take over everything, right? But the more the enemy shows himself, the more darkness, the kingdom of darkness shows themselves, the more we're going to be able to see light. The ignorance in the kingdom of darkness, like, the more they show themselves, the more we're going to be able to see light. Like, you see everything going on right now with people saying that they're this and they're that. I'm a dog, I'm a cat. People are looking at that and saying, oh my goodness, the world has gone mad. The world is evil. When people get to a point where they're saying to themselves, wow, there's evil out there. Then they get to a point where they say to themselves, wow, there must be God. There must be good compared to this evil. Right. And the evil is the confusion, the separation, the brainwashing, the manipulating. The people thinking that they can be anything they want to be and the government, the world accepting it. The Lord said, the world hates you. The world hated me. Now you see why. Because the world is crazy. CBS's Omar Villafranca has more. Margaret, Oklahoma State School Superintendent Ryan Walters directed public schools to use the Bible as a teaching tool for students in 5th through 12th grade when they're being taught history or civilization and its influence on the U.S. Constitution. Walter said the state may supply teaching materials at taxpayer expense, adding strict compliance is expected. The state attorney general's office told me it doesn't see the memo as a mandate and pointed to state law saying that lessons and textbook choices are made locally by districts. Critics say Walters can't use state money to buy Bibles and expect his move to be challenged in court. Yo, shout out Ryan Walter. What in the world? Well, WikiLeaks founder Julian. I was literally just talking about this not too long ago when it comes to what we learn in history. Christopher Columbus, different things like that. But we don't learn about Christ. We don't learn about Yeshua when it comes to history. Why is that? The only perfect one to ever walk the planet. The only one that made, the only one that had time change. We don't learn about him. Why is that? Shout out to RW. Superintendent, shout out to RW. I've already given him a nickname, RW. Oklahoma schools, head Ryan Walters. Teachers who won't teach Bible could lose license. He ain't playing out here. You get one of those, RW. Listen, it's not a game. It's not a game. Now, some of you might say to yourself, well, I wouldn't try to make that or force that or put that like that or listen, you can go to a different school. Our own school. Right? I don't I just like they put in the, the whole pride stuff in schools. Those who are conservative, those who are with God, if you don't like what they're teaching, you can leave that school. Right? Now, here's the beauty in this. When it comes to somebody like R-Dub, 
he's I, I don't I really don't I don't know his life I don't know but the fact that he's doing this shows he sees he knows the importance of God. It is showing that he sees the importance of God. He sees the importance of eternity. That he's willing to put his whole job on the line. This is going to be challenged in court for sure. Oklahoma educators who refuse to teach students about the Bible could lose their teaching license. My goodness. Superintendent of Public Instruction Ryan Walter said in an interview with NBC News on Friday, Ryan ain't playing with you guys out here. Ryan is not joking around. It's not a game. <laughs> Walters issued a memo Thursday instructing all Oklahoma schools to teach students in grades 5 through 12 about the Bible's influence on the nation's real, real lessons, real history. Why don't they teach it in school? Why don't they teach it in school? So true. On the nation's founding and historical American figures, schools will also be required to stock a Bible in every classroom. Boy, oh boy. In an interview with NBC News, Walter said if a teacher refuses to follow the Bible instruction mandate, they'd face the same consequence as one who refuses to teach about the Civil War. Come on, right? Yeah. Come on, right? Come on, right? What in? I need to take this brother out to, to get a meal. You deserve it. <laughs> okay. Civil War, the punishment could include revocation of their teaching license. He said a process that requires a vote by the Oklahoma Oklahoma State Board of Education, which waters chairs. Any teacher that would knowingly willfully disobey the law and disobey our standards, there are repercussions for that, Waters said. So we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. But yes, teachers have to teach Oklahoma academic standards, and this is absolutely going to be part of them. Oh, my goodness. Now let, let's check out what s some different sects have to say. Walter's new rule on incorporating Bible instruction was given immediately, was given, was immediately criticized by civil liberties and religious groups. The Jewish Federation of Tulsa and the Oklahoma chapter of the, <coughs> excuse me, chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Boy, oh, boy. <clears throat> Both said in the statements that Walter is inappropriately promoting Christianity in schools. Americans United for Separation of Church and State also weighed in. Walter is abusing the power of his public office to impose his religious beliefs on everyone else's children. The group said in an email, adding that it is carefully assessing options. Boy, oh, listen. Rye, r -dub. That's what I'm talking about. When you get to a point where you have that much faith, where you believe it, where you believe in the, where you believe the Lord that much, where you believe the word that you're reading that much, where you implement this the way Ryan Walters is, that's, that's faith. That's seeing people as souls. That's not caring about what others are going to say about you. That's not caring about if your job gets taken away or not. That is standing on business. That is being about the father's business right there. And I pray many more states start, many more superintendents, many more people in that position, in these positions, start doing what they need to be, doing what needs to be done. You know why? Because the further you get away from God, the more separation we step into, the more confusion we step into. We need to get back into God's law, not man's fairy tale land. You get what I'm saying? And I believe this brother understands that. Whoever is implementing the Ten Commandments in Louisiana, they understand that. They understand that we need to get back into connecting with God. Because the further we step away from God, the more confusion and division we step into. The more evil we end up in, the more wickedness we end up in, 
And the more people are getting rewarded for their delusion and mental state, their, 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 their mental disability, because believe it or not, people aren't fully functioning right up there. When they believe different things that they can be, different things other than who they actually are or what they actually are, they're in a place of, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say these things in a way where it's not coming off, you know, a certain way. But they're not fully functioning correctly, right? They need help. And what better help than the Lord? Now, it's going to affect their spirits. It's going to affect different spirits that are on them, different spirits that are on these different religions. It's going to affect them. Why? Because the God on you will always affect the demons on others. Period. Period. But this is standing on the Father's business, and I'm completely behind it. Hallelujah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I thought this story was very interesting. Very interesting. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.